Following Nvidia isn't easy. There are new announcements every few days, new products, new platforms, new industry data to absorb, and none of this is incremental. At CES, Jensen Huang came in with a flurry of announcements and a clear direction for Nvidia. Jensen Huang is not pitching GPUs anymore. Computing has been fundamentally reshaped as a result of accelerated computing, as a result of artificial intelligence. Every single layer of that five-layer cake reinvented. And if we were ever going to understand how to navigate ourselves and how to guide the industry towards this new future, we have to get good at building the entire stack. He's openly describing a full-stack AI company to own as much of the five-layer AI cake as possible. Energy, chips, AI factories, models, apps. This isn't a coincidence, this is a strategy. That we build chips, but as you know, NVIDIA builds entire systems now, and AI is a full stack. We, we're reinventing AI across everything from chips, to infrastructure, to models, to applications. And our job is to create the entire stack so that all of you could create incredible applications uh, for the rest of the world. Because if you control the full stack, GPU sales become inevitable. These are the four big bets Jensen Huang is making to stay number one. Now let's get into his playbook. Bet number one, chips and infrastructure. And so we decided that we have to advance the state of the art of computation every single year, not one year left behind. Jensen isn't just building faster chips, he's standardizing how AI is built. And so this is the Vera Rubin. Now there are several things that's really incredible about it. This entire system is twice the energy efficiency. By tightly combining chips, software and networking, NVIDIA is turning AI infrastructure into a reference architecture with Rubin. Rubin offers an architecture that data centers, cloud providers and enterprises can deploy with fewer unknowns and more consistent outcomes. The cost of the tokens, how cost effectively it is to generate the token, this is Rubin about one tenth. It also increases how much AI work can be done per unit of energy and cost. As AI models grow larger and more complex, power consumption and operating costs have become limiting factors. Standardization isn't just about efficiency, it's about protecting performance, reliability and the brand at scale, and about leading in the GPU race, the core of AI. This is how we're going to get everybody to the next frontier to build these data centers energy efficiently and cost efficiently. Bet number two open source frontier models. NVIDIA is a frontier AI model builder, and we build it in a very special way. We build it completely in the open. We also open source the data that we use to train those models. He makes one thing clear. Open source is no longer behind by years. In his words, know that open models have also reached the frontier. Still solidly is six months behind the frontier models, but every single six months, a new model is emerging, and these models are getting smarter and smarter. As AI goes open, AI proliferates. At CES, Jensen didn't just argue this in theory. He pointed to specific frontier models. NVIDIA is now building and releasing in the open, each tied to a real domain, not a generic chatbot. The whole suite of libraries, we call the Nemo libraries, physics Nemo libraries, and the Clara Nemo libraries, each bio Nemo libraries. Each one of these libraries are life cycle management systems of AIs, so that you could process the data, you could generate data, you could train the model, you could create the model, evaluate the model, guardrail the model, all the way to deploying the model. Each one of these libraries are incredibly complex, and all of it is open sourced. This is AI moving beyond text and images into science itself. The pattern is clear. NVIDIA is not building one general model, it is building multiple frontier, application-specific models, and releasing them open. That's the bet. Bet number three. One of the biggest, most important one is physical AI. AIs that understand the laws of nature. Autonomous vehicles to robots. The challenge is obvious. The physical world is messy, unpredictable, and dangerous to learn from directly. So NVIDIA adopts a new model for building physical AI. One designed for the real world. The loop is simple. Simulate. 
Generate data. Train. Deploy at the edge. Together this creates a loop. That loop is what makes physical AI possible. And why Jensen Huang calls it the next frontier. Now let's look at the physical AI stack. Chips. Models. Applications. First. So this basic system requires three computers. One computer, of course, the one that we know that NVIDIA builds for training the AI models. Another computer that we know is to inference the compute, inference the models. Inferencing the model is essentially a robotics computer that runs in a car or runs in a robot or runs in a factory, runs anywhere at the edge. But there has to be another computer that's designed for simulation. And simulation is at the heart of almost everything NVIDIA does. Chips. These chips train, simulate, and run inference. Now, the, one of the most important things that we have to do with physical AI is to create the data to train the AI in the first place. Where does that data come from? Training with synthetic data. Real-world data is slow, expensive, and never enough. So NVIDIA generates data using physics-based simulation. Rare and long-tail scenarios are created on demand. This is how cars and robots learn safely at scale. But this, is, this basic technique that I just described in using the three computers, using the synthetic data generation and simulation, applies to every form of robotic systems. Second, models. Models that understand physics, motion, and cause and effect. Cosmos is the world's leading foundation model, world foundation model. It's been downloaded millions of times. Cosmos is not a language model. It is a world foundation model. It learns how the physical world works. Motion. Cause and effect. Interactions. It generates physically plausible video. It simulates rare and dangerous edge cases. And it turns simulation into training data. This is what allows robotics and autonomous systems to scale without waiting for real-world data. Today we're announcing Alpamayo, the world's first thinking, reasoning, autonomous vehicle AI. Alpamayo is trained end-to-end, -end, literally from camera in to actuation out. Third, applications. Auto layer in this case is Alpamayo, and the application above that is the Mercedes-Benz. Okay, and so, so this entire stack is our first NVIDIA first entire stack endeavor. Physical AI is not a single product. It is a full system where compute models and applications are designed together. And NVIDIA is not just talking about this. It is shipping the full physical AI stack in the real world. Together with Mercedes-Benz, NVIDIA is deploying the complete autonomous vehicle stack. More stacks will likely follow. future applications are built on AIs. The application framework of the future is changing. Apps will no longer be built to static software. They will be built on agentic AI models. Agentic AIs can reason. They can plan. They can act. They are multimodal. They understand text, speech, images, video, 3D graphics, even proteins. They are also multimodal. They choose the best model for the task and they are multi-cloud and hybrid cloud. This is where NVIDIA comes in. As Jensen Huang puts it, this is the basic framework and blueprint of future applications. With Nematron, NVIDIA is turning advanced AI into an open platform. A platform that gives developers transparency and efficiency, so they can build apps at scale. NVIDIA provides the full stack. And now you can also, because of the, all of the open models and all the tools that we provided you, you could also customize your AIs to teach your AI skills that nobody else is teaching. But the important thing is this, not only is this the way that you develop applications now, this is going to be the user interface of your platform. You, this entire framework we call a blueprint. And we have blueprints that are integrated into enterprise SaaS platforms all over the world. And so that's enterprise AI being revolutionized by Ingentic systems. This is why Jensen Huang isn't just selling chips anymore. He's building the full stack architecture for the AI era, with open source models, data and blueprints, so that AI proliferates everywhere from autonomous vehicles, robots, science, to applications. If you want to build AI, you end up building it on NVIDIA.
and then buying the GPUs and other systems by default. That's the playbook.